Uh, my name is Richard Marks. I'm director of Magic Lab inside PlayStation R&D. Can you talk a little about how Project Morpheus has evolved over the last few years you guys have been developing this? Sure, it was kind of a grassroots effort. Actually, there are lots of pockets of VR kind of enthusiasm within PlayStation. Some guys in Europe, uh, Simon Benson and his team, and then some guys in actually SEA R&D. Uh, Jeff Stafford in particular was really excited. And then there was actually some people in the worldwide studios that were also doing their own thing. A lot of it was enabled when the PlayStation Move came out. They could just take the Move and kind of hook it onto a headset, and then you had a really, you know, kind of simple VR system. So that all, all that effort was going on, and it kind of got people started sharing ideas within the company. And then you know, some of the executives saw this was happening, and they some of the executives were excited about it. Mirasan, the head of our hardware group, likes this area, so it became an official project, kind of from the ground up. What has PlayStation 4 opened up for you guys? Uh, PlayStation 4 is one of the reasons that we can actually do this now because the graphics horsepower it takes to drive a virtual reality kind of experience actually is pretty significant. So it would have been hard to do earlier and then also we needed you know, the tracking technology and the display technology to be at a certain point. So PlayStation 4 is the, the graphics driver. Can you talk a little bit about the actual technology behind it from a high level perspective, what people are wearing? and Sure, sure. So the way VR works is basically you have a display and you have sound and it needs to react to your movement of your head. So you need a tracking system for that to happen. So what we have for our tracking system is uh, gyros and accelerometers in the unit, but also a camera watching these LEDs that are on the front and on the back. So when you turn around, the position of where you are is from the camera, and then that rotation is from the inertial sensors, and that all gets kind of blended in with sensor fusion by the PlayStation 4 to give a really good tracking experience. Can you talk a little about some of the demos that people have been experimenting, experiencing here at GDC? Right, we're showing uh, four or five different demos here. We have a thing called the Deep, where you're in this kind of submersed cage, and there's sharks that, at the end that kind of jump out at you and swim around you. It's, it's kind of uh, intense experience from uh, the being underwater with a shark around you. And then we have another demonstration called the castle, which is you're in this kind of medieval setting and you have you can use two PlayStation moves which represent your hands and you see these gauntlets floating in space in front of you which are exactly where your own hands are and you, when you squeeze the trigger of the move it actually makes the, the hands open and close and you can reach out and pick up a sword and you can hit this practice dummy and, and uh, kind of have fun with him and play with him. You can grab him, you can throw parts. And then there's some more that happens at the end of that demo too that scares you a little bit. <laughs> and then, then there's uh, another demonstration which is uh, called Valkyrie. It's from a CCP and it's you're in a cockpit and you're flying a spaceship and that's a very, you can fly all around and you have a kind of a dog fight. And then the last demonstration we're gonna show tomorrow actually is called Thief. It's the game, it's a game thief's world but they've taken out all of the gameplay from the game and made more of a virtual reality experience where you're just you're just walking around enjoying the setting of this kind of spooky world that they have so how have you seen as you talk to developers and even see people come here to GDC this peak new creativity amongst game developers yeah a lot of developers are excited i mean it is kind of a thing that it's it's a new kind of medium that people want to create and figure out what new ideas they could apply to it. Uh, so there's a lot of enthusiasm, enthusiasm for that and I think because you know it's another person entering the marketplace to create some of this hardware, I think there's a lot of developers who are happy about that idea. When you look at this show, really virtual reality is one of the big trends. When you look at Oculus and some of the other companies, how far away from this becoming a reality for gamers out there from a big picture, mainstream gamers, do you see virtual reality? Well, we've announced that we're not going to release an official product in 2014, but what we feel we have now is a really good developer kit so that the developers can get started on making these experiences. We're, we're going to work on the hardware some more, and we expect that when there's a good set of experiences, that's when uh, the, these things will come to market.